What's up guys? I'm out here at the CVA Cascade 7 Remag. I got some gel 300 yards downrange and I'm going to test out the 140 grain maker again. Hopefully uh, this time I can actually capture one of these guys in the gel. Don't know why this doesn't want to focus for me. Come on. There we go. So 140 maker 300 yards. Let's see if I can catch this. All right, so this table is pretty much screwed now, but I got a first round impact with that maker. Um, the block flipped over, but it came in here. Let me uh, see if I can. It's hard to tell because it's definitely dirty. Um, this is that copper raptor up here. So in the beginning, the copper raptor is definitely bigger, but as things taper down, I mean, that maker is definitely bigger, which makes sense because you got to pedal that bullet, not just one with uh you know a shank and then i don't see a bullet i mean came out of this block here actually bullets right in there i don't know exactly which wound tract that is the bullets right in there it's kind of hidden in the other wound channel so I can't really see the expansion but I'll get home and I'll pull it out and it looks like it did pretty good almost at the end of the block you can just see the little three petals in there all right awesome let's take this home dig it out and we'll see how it actually did all right so let's take a look at the wound track from the 140 grain maker t-rex so the last test I did was at 350. I didn't capture the bullet, but this one was 300. So block is not 100% clear. I tried to kind of smooth these out, but there's such a deep, um, you know, lines in there. It's hard to get rid of them. But we started expansion, I would say, at about the one and a half inch mark. Nice big wound channel. Bullet carried through. And it stopped pretty much right in the even or in line with, with the 300 wind mag bullet I shot stopped. So... About 29 and a half. If you look, that 300 bag bullet was here. That maker is hiding right in there. So um, I shot two different bullets that day. One was the um, you know the maker. Then this one here is the 135 copper raptor. So as you can see, the copper raptor big wound channel in the beginning, quite explosive, but then it just tapers down. It gets very skinny very quick. If you look on this side, you can see it a little bit better. So at further distances, this one doesn't seem to carry too much of a wound channel once those pedals break off. That maker, on the other hand, you know, it's not as explosive in the beginning, but here towards the middle, you just have a very wide wound channel that carries almost to the end of the block before it tapers off. So hard to say exactly which one would be better. Um, for deer size game, the, the explosiveness of that copper raptor could be better, but if for anything bigger, elk, whatever, I would 100% go with the maker. Um, the maker is half the price, but unfortunately I do run into pressure a little bit sooner with it and it's not as accurate for me. So let me pull that bullet out and we can take a look at it. All right, so here is that maker. Just like you would expect, nice three pedal expansion. Take a little weight test here. Probably lost a grain or two for the tip. So not even a full grain, pretty much half a grain for the tip. Let's see what kind of expansion we got. 0 0.75, 7.4, 7.4 again. So absolutely massive expansion, almost three quarters of an inch at 300 yards. Um, a Barnes could not compete with this at all. So great performance uh, if i can get these to shoot a little bit better i'm probably going to use these as my hunting bullet 
Um, I do have some 162 ELDXs to test out, which I'm curious how they'll do, but I'm trying to get away from lead bullets. But uh, overall, definitely a good performer. So I'm curious if these do this good at 300 yards, how much further can we stretch it? Um, maybe I'll do a 400 yard test, but I gotta say, just shooting the blocks at 300 is pretty hard. They look pretty damn small through the scope, so. No uh, guarantees there, but I'll try to do uh, another test at longer distances. But like always, guys, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.